Welcome gamers to my review of King's Grave, developed by Egg or Chicken Games. This game invites you into a world shrouded by darkness and despair, where the fate of a kingdom hangs in the balance. As a long-dead king awakened to restore his lands, you must embark on a journey filled with exploration, strategic building, and challenging combat. At the heart of King's Grave lies a robust gameplay experience that intertwines multiple elements seamlessly. You must restore the kingdom by collecting resources, constructing buildings, and engaging in combat with plague creatures. The progression system, tied to unlocking new abilities and upgrading equipment, adds depth and strategy to the gameplay. However, the resource management aspect is a bit grindy, and while the premise of reclaiming a kingdom from the darkness is compelling, the game falls short in delivering a truly engaging narrative. Sparse world building and minimal character development hinder the immersion, leaving you craving a deeper connection to the story and its inhabitants. The potential for a rich lore and captivating storytelling is evident, but remains largely on top in this adventure. But when it comes to visuals, King's Grave shines with its charming pixel art style, capturing the essence of a dark fantasy world. The handcrafted environments provide a visually captivating backdrop for exploration, however the audio experience lacks consistency, with standout tracks occasionally overshadowed by sparsity and mix issues. Improvements in the audio design could elevate the atmospheric immersion of the game. King's Grave offers a solid value proposition with around 15 hours of gameplay and an accessible price point. The game's replayability stems from its open world design, allowing you to approach challenges in different ways and uncover new secrets with each playthrough. However, the lack of substantial in-game content or replay incentives beyond the initial completion may limit long-term engagement. King's Grave stands as a commendable entry into the Metrovania genre, offering a blend of nostalgic gameplay elements and modern design sensibilities. And while it excels in certain aspects such as exploration and strategic building, it falls short in delivering a cohesive narrative experience and refining certain gameplay mechanics. I'm sure with further updates the game will be better, but at the moment I cannot recommend this game to any of you. Thank you for watching till the end, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.